OnePlus has come a long way since its early days. It was once a no-name brand that built high-performance phones that didn't cost very much, but also you could only buy if you had an invitation. But while the consistency of offering top-performance smartphones hasn't changed, the tiny price points are a thing of the past. If you want a pro phone from OnePlus now, you have to pay flagship prices. I'm Cam Bunton from PocketLint, and this is our OnePlus 8 Pro review. It's big. That's one of the first things we noticed taking the OnePlus 8 Pro out of its packaging, and almost identical in size and shape to the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Now our unit is this lovely frosted glacial green which just looks fantastic. It has these curves near the edges to try and make this massive phone feel more comfortable in the hand. We still feel like it may be a bit big for some people out there despite this effort though. Now the camera housing is kept in the middle to make it symmetrical. Although the addition of a fourth camera in the glass and additional sensors kind of take away from that somewhat. And this year we finally have an officially rated water and dust resistant phone. It's IP68, so it can survive being submerged in water, so it should easily cope with you accidentally getting caught in the rain or dropping it in the sink. Now we love the metal edges that have this soft anodized finish, it complements the glass finish on the back perfectly. But there is one thing that has to be said about this frosted glass. If your fingers do leave greasy marks on the back, they're much harder to clean off than glossy glass fingerprint smears. Now back to those curves in the glass, and actually while they make for a pretty phone and reduce the appearance of bezels around the screen, they do make the touchscreen prone to accidental touches. So I found it on the odd occasion became oddly unresponsive because part of my hand was touching the edge of the phone. And since we're already there, let's dive into the display. Now it's a big 6.7 inch fluid AMOLED panel, easily one of the best displays on the market. With its Quad HD Plus resolution selected, text and fine details are pin sharp. So whether you're reading or gaming or just sliding through the phone menus, it just all looks crisp. Colors are vivid too, without ever really appearing oversaturated. Blacks are inky and deep, just like they should be. It's really, really bright too, which is great at times, but we found at low brightnesses the images can look a little bit too contrasty. It's not major, not at all, but it's still a fantastic display. Now, like Samsung's latest phones, you can push the refresh rate up to 120Hz. Now, being honest, for the most part, we struggle to see any real obvious difference between 60Hz and 120 Most content isn't really optimized for the higher frame rates, but Whichever one you pick, you'll get a fluid, responsive animation and great experience overall. Now, it's worth noting that those of you with keener eyes who look for frame rates and look for smoothness might just notice a huge difference if that's the kind of thing you look for. We just think for the average person buying this phone, it's not going to make a difference really in everyday use whether you have it switched on or switched off. Now it's HDR10 and 10 Plus compatible too, plus when you combine it with the stereo speakers you have a really great multimedia experience. Now in everyday use, everything about the phone's interface feels zippy and fluid, from launching apps to just scrolling through the app drawer. There's not even a microsecond delay or lag. The software being so light and bloat-free only helps keep things like this further. Even loading games with fast animations and high quality visuals doesn't seem to bother the OnePlus 8 Pro. We played a good few rounds of Asphalt 9 and Alto's Odyssey and Mario Kart Tour, never spotting any real lag or stuttering whatsoever. And that was even when we switched it all the way up to its highest resolution and maxed out the frame rates, it just doesn't struggle with anything. The same can be said of the battery life, it's a 4510mAh cell, making it the biggest capacity battery OnePlus has used in a smartphone to date. That means it can keep on going and going. Even on days where we deliberately spent a good couple of hours gaming, watching videos and streaming music, we arrived at the end of the day with just under 40% left over. For the lighter user, we suspect this could even be a two-day battery job, and that's pretty good going. And then it has its fast charge technology with Warp Charge 30T, you can plug it into the cable and have a 50% full battery in 23 minutes. If you use the wireless charging, which is a new feature this year, it takes slightly longer, but it's still quick. Moving on to the camera and everything seems in order here too, mostly. Using either the main 48 megapixel camera or the ultra wide 48 megapixel camera, you'll get images with plenty of life. There's lots of color, contrast and detail from both of these two cameras. Indeed, the wide-angle sensor here is the same quality one you'll find in the standard OnePlus 8 main camera. Even in low-light conditions, the primary camera does a good job of pulling in lots of light. Now, parts of the image do get a bit smushy and soft, but no more than we'd expect. 
I'm switching to nightscape mode, however, and this issue is resolved. The zoom camera ends up making images look a bit flatter though, and not as detailed whether you go to three times or all the way up to 30. And then there's that unusual color filter camera, which is fun for about five seconds, but doesn't seem to be of any real benefit. In fact, we'd rather it wasn't there. And then the telephoto zoom lens could be actually inside the camera protrusion and not ruin that otherwise symmetrical look. Now the OnePlus 8 Pro is undoubtedly the company's most complete smartphone to date. It has a big and brilliant display, long lasting and fast charging battery, IP68 waterproofing, plus a software that's fluid and lightweight. All in a phone that's fast and has a great main and wide angle camera on the back. The OnePlus 8 Pro delivers a true flagship experience and that offers everything you could want in a package that's still less expensive than the likes of Samsung and Apple's big name flagship devices. So what do you think of this phone? Let me know. Is this too expensive to convince you to upgrade from your two or three year old OnePlus 6 or 6T? Is it too big a jump for you? Use the comments below, hit that like button if you like this video and hit subscribe to see more. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media and I'll see you again soon.